wonderful people in the genealogy family. Yeah. I think overall people are very generous, you know, with their time and, you know, resources and everything. So it's been, that's been great. Amazing. Here comes Greg. You got Greg and Crystal and Amanda and Rhonda. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Hello. <laughs> I was going to ask if um, Peter was coming. Should invite. Oh, him. Peter! Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know. I haven't heard from him this week, except uh, except our meeting. Our, really. our meeting, yes. Yeah. Okay, now I like your sweatshirt, but it's the wrong color. I mean, I see it says. Yes. Yeah, yeah it was one of the. I know it's the wrong color, but it's cool. It, it's cool and damp here. We actually got wet snow on our morning walk, and it was snowing. Just a moment ago. You know, we, we brought it. We sent it your way. Thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> very, gen very generous of you to share. <laughs> so the short sleeve shirt, that just wasn't going to cut it for this morning. So, but I, I get, <laughs> every now and then I get, um, I get a, a piece of clothing as a thank you. So I'm trying to branch out and cover all the colors of the rainbow that we could <laughs> offers. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say, there are a lot of different colors out there on the store, so yeah. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. But And Julie's always said that she likes this color, particular color of blue on me, she says. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing my Mito Y. Look at that, yeah. See, our blues match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Megs is in a She's at a cottage um, and some friends are about to arrive. So she doesn't know if she'll be able to make it live. She yeah. was thinking of it and she'll definitely watch. It, I don't know if it gets, does, does this get recorded? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to post it up onto YouTube. Okay. And yeah, it, it's recording now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. there it is. Okay. So does anybody want to share what they're working on or have <laughs> any um, questions or want to see how to do something? Well, I have a conundrum. <laughs> oh, I started. Um, uh, this is my first challenge. I started with the challenge number four, and uh -huh. uh, I got derailed. And I love mysteries, and I stumbled on. I'm in Nova Scotia, right? So I thought, well, if I ha can go to Halifax Records Office, it might be easy for me to get access if oh. I needed help. Well, I was looking in the Hubert family. And of course, going to no archives.novascotia.ca, and I stumbled across a young person named um, Paul James Hubert, death record in 1941, but his parents' name are listed as James Farish, James, and it turns out as James William Farish. Uh, it actually says Ferris, but when you look at his marriage record to Dorothy Morley, it's Ferris. Um, and I'm trying to establish whether this branch of the Hubert family with this young, this man that died in 1941, if it's connected to Leanne's branch. Do you have a profile ID we can look at? Um, I, I can't find him anywhere so far on here so it might be a completely new person I'm, I'm this oh, is what I'm doing I'm searching through some of the mm -hmm. profiles to see if I can match up any of these Paul Hubert's but there's so That's much good. information and links not connected with people there's lots of Paul Hubert's but mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean so, so I just thought I would share that because yeah. um uh, it's interesting because um clearly right he was mayor um the marriage um who was it anyway it doesn't matter the, the anyway the death um when he died the certificate says dorothy morley and james ferris which like i said james ferris ferris but ferish <laughs> is mm -hmm. the the marriage certificate for the parents so i'm wondering if he's adopted or if if it was an illegitimate child by a Hubert <laughs> and the, the the biological father's name may not be on the death record at all. And mm -hmm. so I've, I'm hunting for 
uh, Paul James uh, Hubert's birth record at the moment. Um, he supposedly was born around Coldbrook, Nova Scotia. So this is why I'm trying to look Nova Scotia records and uh, look for any possible connection. It, I don't know how it, it is. I don't know how it is in Canada, but I know uh, just from personal experience uh, that death records are filled out in America by, you know, whoever is on hand to fill out the information. Mm -hmm. So if the person who is filling out the information has incorrect information, then that's what's going to be on the form. So yeah. you kind of have to um, always take, I always say, take it with a grain of salt. No. Yeah. Um, so, you know, validate. Oh, yeah, you so need the, the record. But I've also been looking for a potential marriage. Maybe Dorothy mm -hmm. was married to a Hubert first. Maybe Paul is the product mm -hmm. of yeah. marriage. I was so I I've just I got derailed and haven't accomplished <laughs> it. Because <laughs> I'm held out a rabbit hole. <laughs> well, I just I know that I know that Leanne has um the Acadian so I'm like that's literally Coldbrook is next door <laughs> mm -hmm. so to speak so I thought well geez it's got to be connected it just there's just no possible way it's not in yeah. some way but there's that's like 15,000 of them or something <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. it wouldn't be related to the Louis Hebert that is the first landowner the European landowner because his line is a daughter but there's that whole other huge family of hair bears that mm -hmm. people sometimes confuse. But yes, he's probably of that other one. And I've came across three different spellings. Some people, one of the records um, is listed as a H I B B E R T instead when I was searching for a different name. And so there may be a lot more um variants than what people realize so yeah it's fun and i came across that when i think i was looking for i stumbled a, across um a hubert that is um an artist basically from the seven uh, seven eighteen hundred seventeen hundreds eight i forget now um his name is felipe and uh so that's another another mystery but <laughs> i thought wow well, wouldn't that be cool <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I got derailed, but I'm having fun. I'm, 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 it, I'm mobile a, at the moment. Oh, <laughs> there is a hey, hey bear, uh, or hey bear, however you pronounce it, uh, name study too. So you might well, be interested to check check that out. That's good to know. Here, let me. I'll put I'll put the link if I can. I might That'd upload. Be great. It sounds like some English person was trying to write down a French name. Yeah. <laughs> There's two Bs. That's right, eh? I know. My, one of my ancestors, um, he's German, and his father's, I think, because it, um, the there were so many um, people, Dutch people and German people right close together, um, so his father may have been actually uh, Dutch. And so we've been told his his first name is Benjamin, but there could be, that could just be an Americanized version of what his name is, right? So a lot of my um, third great-grandfather's records there uh, say that his father's name is Boy, and uh, they don't even reference his last name. They reference his mother's last name as his father. It was just so crazy. <laughs> and there's about six different regions that have the town that Americanized version of the town or English version is New Church. So I'm, I'm, yeah. But anyways, back, back, back to um, Leanne's uh, challenge there. Um, I closed out that profile for, for the the artists so it was interesting these two people when i find the information i'll share it in the brick wall section <laughs> i'm just sharing the the statistics sheet oh, and yeah. i was just checking because um i just went to your profile Leanne, and 
my I was at like 21 degrees I think when we first started away from you and now we're eight I'm 18 and I was your 11th cousin one time's removed and now <laughs> I'm your ninth cousin so <laughs> got a little bit closer we had Great. that Great. uh yeah. Go ahead. Greg did too. Greg's got an announcement. But yeah, yeah. I'm now closer. Let me just double check. Um, whereabouts I am with you. There it is. Uh I think I'm seventh. I'm seventh cousin. I was I started out ninth cousin as well, but I believe I'm now um seventh cousin once removed. Awesome. Let me that's just so cool. Let me just double check to see if that's changed this morning. Uh Oh, that's funny. On the homepage, the it says ninth cousin, uh -huh. like with, because the wiki the wiki tree browser extension pulls up ninth cousin. Uh -huh. um, but when I go to re relationship to me, it just hasn't have, updated that part. I think, right? Yeah, it doesn't. But when I go to relationship to me, it's seventh cousin once removed. So we are closer. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I'm yeah. probably closer too then. Yeah. And you, if you click the little degree button too, it'll refresh if. You know, oh, I didn't know that. I don't know if you guys know that. If you click the, I did not know the that. 18th or whatever your degree oh, wait is. Wait a second. I want to, I, there is no degree on my own profile. It's on Leanne's profile. <laughs> 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 click to refresh. <laughs> it did it like magic. I didn't know that, Azure. <laughs> wow. Seventh cousin once removed. It's official. 15 degrees apart. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's a different, so it's a different common. Well, of course it would be, be closer. Yeah, that's what mine, mine changed to a different ancestor too. Just the one I thought it would um, when uh -huh. um, I was able to oh, find but I that there was the a duplicate profile mm -hmm. for the 40A, one of the 40A profiles. And so mm -hmm. merged into already one that was existing. That so must that have been it. Brought us closer together. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I recognize the, not yeah. the one, the top one, but I recognize the second one, the oh, Marie-Jeanne oh. Vaillé and Joseph de Elizabeth uh, Papillot Perigny. Oh, I yes. I recognize the Perigny line in one of mine. Yeah. Oh, cool. In fact, the Vaillé line is one of the few that I've actually used, been able to use triangulation to DNA confirm beyond the third cousin. I was able to um, confirm a fourth cousin uh match because of that wow three people of a three of us cousins distant cousins all triangulated on the same segment in one of the chromosomes so and we only Very had one nice. case. yeah it was actually a wiki treer who had reached out to me and said that we were cousins but um and she knew that she had a relative that came from quebec at some point she lives i think it was washington state or somewhere in the somewhere in the northwest anyways hmm. i'm pretty sure um so i recognized it trepanier was was the name that she was looking for and that's one of my great grandmother's last names so i was able to make that connection to her and fill out a whole branch on her fan chart and then that's that great. led me to the triangulation so that was cool all I've these french canadians are related yeah <laughs> all french canadians are related yeah that's right Rhonda, keep me informed as to what you find out. Mm -hmm. uh, I will. I will. I, like I said, it's going to take me a while. And even if the challenge is done, uh, um, I know that yeah. there are so many people by that name. And um, <laughs> it's just a mystery. And I just, it drives me nuts when I can't figure it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. You have to solve it because it's a yeah. good rabbit hole to go down. Yeah. Oh, I know, but three? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> they keep me busy and distracted from other stuff. Should, you I, know what I it's should, like when you yeah. focus on somebody else's mysteries, it gives you a break from your own. So you come back with it with a clearer view, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, Leanne, you're there, aren't you? Do you yeah. know a you know a woman on FamilySearch.org who's a member that's named Wendy Sorensen. She's no. out. No, I, okay. I saw that message. My um, that Sorensen line. Yeah. Uh, my step step family. 
Oh, Grandpa we lost the was born in yeah. Copenhagen, came over to Ontario, and then married. And his uh, mother yeah. died. She was the gravestone that somebody helped me. And his father came over for um, my parents' wedding in 57 oh. okay. because his wife had died. So he was able to travel because she didn't like traveling. Right. And so, and then I have those, that five generations of those family, of that family. Well, this woman, um, she's out wet, like in the Western part of Canada. Um, but her, her family stems from Hanover, Ontario region. Mm -hmm. And that's how I connected with her because she's closer related to my ex-husband's grandmother than what I am mm -hmm. <laughs> isn't that men is retarded <laughs> sorry yeah that's it, funny it, that's how I met her like I don't know her really but I just have communicated with her a few times so there um is that German uh connection as well um I don't yeah. know all that all the details but that's why I was wondering if you might happen to know her because you never know what somebody else has accomplished on their family tree that may not be directly related to Sorensen's but the associated families is why I was wondering so does anybody else have anything that they want to share what they've been working on or well I could share okay <laughs> I could sh share the 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 profile that uh, I've been puzzling with. I've only, you looked at the score sheet, I've only done added three profiles. I was prepared to add a whole new branch and uh, I posted this in the Discord. I planned it all on my iPad at night, wake up the next morning and someone had already beat me to it. <laughs> 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 it was a French Canadian one. So like once you get your foothold in, then it's easy to just go back and just go on. And especially if you have a, and that um, subscription to the Genealogy Quebec website, which I do, mm -hmm. then, you know, they sort of have pre-built out all those genealogies. So you, all you have to do is sort of verify those and then find mm -hmm. the records. So you can build pretty fast if you know what you're doing. Yeah, uh, you, that's you, what can, was, you should be able to share your screen. Yeah, okay. That's what it was like when I did this in the 80s. Once yeah. I got back to the, the Druin uh, records and so on, it was just find 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 and yeah. I couldn't write it down fast enough or I know I, I, I have a book of all my um yes okay okay Fortier's Fortier so Joseph Fortier he's your second great grandfather um so yep. this is what I've now it mm -hmm. wasn't just me um Christian Wa or Christian yeah Christian Roy mm -hmm. Christian Ra oh, wow. uh, has been doing a, what's that it depends on whether they're French or English. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what Christian's, how he pronounces his last name, but we have communicated it back and forth. He's done a lot. If you go to the changes, you'll see he's done a lot of the, a lot of the editing. And we sort of, we were, we we're, were fighting over it, but there was one point I wanted to go in and <laughs> add some new things because I found some more information and he was already at, I said, no, Christian Roy is, or Hua is, is using this. So I thought, okay, I'll wait. So I'm hoping <laughs> I didn't step on his toes, but I actually sent him a message this morning saying, I added some new stuff, feel free to tweak it. And obviously he did. He found three different ways to improve it <laughs> since I just left. Um, but he actually had a brainstorm that I hadn't even thought of, which makes a lot more makes makes a lot more sense. Um, but I'm not sure how much of this you uh, of Joseph that you've done. Do you have any uh, access to records from Saint Boniface? Uh, no. Okay, because in early Manitoba, there were basically, as far as I can tell, there were basically two big churches. Saint Boniface was the original one. Um, which is just on the eastern side of Winnipeg. Winnipeg, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that was sort of like the mother church. Yeah. Um, and then this other one, uh, Saint Francois, Saint Francois Xavier, um, which is west of Winnipeg, right. is uh, is another church in another little town, um, about fifteen kilometers west of Winnipeg. Right. Um, and so there are records from Saint uh, Francois. Xavier, but not from San Boniface, because I think there was a fire in the church and it destroyed the records. But I was wondering 
if anyone knows, if you, Leanne, in your research, if you had come across any original church records from San Boniface. No, I have their marriage certificate. Oh. Uh, Mar Carmeline, Carmeline and Joseph's because of vital statistics. I just sent to Manitoba and got oh. her death certificate because she's the first wife and then he right. remarries and has children. Right. Um, do you have, so you have the actual birth certificate, the marriage certificate? Uh, I'd have to go look. Okay, because if you could post a picture of that, that would be great. Because what we we were able to from the um, for the marriages, any of the any of the events that came from Saint ba Saint Boniface, we can get we can get the um, details from them from the stats, the vital stats page, right? Okay. And that's and but that only gives us the date and the names, but it doesn't give us all the background. So, for example, if we went for his marriage to Carmeline, let's see if El Portier and Joseph, and that, and they got married in San Boniface. So his, um, and what year was that? Eighteen ninety one. No, the first one. The first marriage. Oh, is the, the first one. Eighteen eighty four. Thank yeah. you. Eighty four. So if I do, if we do a search, oh, what do you mean? There's no records. There is records. What did I type wrong? Get rid of the city. Okay. Okay. There we go. Saint B. <laughs> so this is what, and if we go to the detail, <laughs> Saint B. Great. Um, we How get the names. Details? <laughs> we get the names and the date, but no other details. I so think that's all I have is that. Oh, really? Oh, look, I will look. Okay, because the tricky part is we've got him. We've got his original birth record from uh, from Quebec, from St. Clair. Yeah. And so from him backwards, that part is really solid. Um, and we know that there is definitely a Joseph Fortier who married Carmeline Poiré and had well, uh, well, the two. one had two daughters, two Mary daughters. Rose. What's that? Mary yeah. Rosemary. That was the one that was on WikiTree. I added Maria, the second daughter. Um, and I also found a birth record or a death record for a, a son. But so here's the interesting thing. There was a whole pile of things that happened in 1791. And 1891. Eight, 18, 1891. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So here it is. So let me just zoom in on that so you can see. Yeah. So this is a little bit of my prose. <laughs> you have great highs and great lows. So his first wife passed away and we only got that date from, again, the vital exterior, vital records. We don't have a church record because it was in San Boniface. Yeah. Um, but he remarried according to the vital yep. statistics on the 4th of July yeah. to this new person. And I think I've, I've got enough information that I could create a profile for her. And she died like in the eight in the 1930s. Does that sound right? Yes. And she's American. And she's American. She was born in the Massachusetts, but her parents were from Quebec. Yes. So okay. there, but there's yeah. Yeah. She was born in was... Massachusetts. Okay. So then I am right. So I know exactly who it is. So I can create a profile for her. So I'll do that. Um, but then so at some point in the spring. According to the record, so in, um, they had a baby boy, Joseph Pierre Albert, yeah. and then he passed away at the end of July, buried on 1st of August. And then the second daughter, Maria, also passed away in the middle of August. So he lost his wife and two children and then got and got married all in, in within six months, basically, of each other. Yeah, it's wow. really sad. That's yeah. very sad. But all of this jives with what you know about your, yes. your family, right? Yep. Okay, yep. so that's good. Because now what I had written, because of the way the certificates are written, and so they're very, very here. Come on. Here is the death record of Joseph-Pierre Albert Fortier. You got to love their handwriting, right? Are you guys seeing my the screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm shaking my head. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so um, 
I first I thought, well, maybe the date's wrong because it doesn't make sense what I read. Because, oh, he, yeah, no, here we are. Mille Huit Sans, Quatre Vingt Ans, so that's 19, uh, 1891. Uh, blah, 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 avant Anne we buried dans le cimetière de Sepoa, in the cemetery of this parish. Uh, um, le corps de Joseph Pierre Albert, uh, enfant de uh, Joseph Fortier. Um, Cultivateur. Uh, mm -hmm. what's this one here? What's that? It's one? Cultivateur. Oh, 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 cultivateur, right? Yes, what he does. Um, et Isilde Leblanc, uh, de cette paroisse of this parish, um, décédé le 29 juillet. Okay, so, uh, the son, the son of, of Joseph and Isilde, the second wife. Yeah. The second, and then it says he was quatre mois, um, so four months old. So I'm thinking. Did he have a, like, did this son get very, like, was he born before they were married? They were married? And her, in the 17, the 1891 census, which happened in April, not in July, um, she was single. Exilda Leblanc was single. So um, I thought, well, at first I thought, well, the marriage certificate was wrong. It really wasn't 1891, but she was single in 1891 on the census. But could he have gotten married? And what a scumbag if he had a child with another woman the same month or right around the time that his first wife died. Yeah. But then when I asked Christian to, to you know, pretty this up or whatever, he added extra links and stuff. And he made the theory, which I should have thought of, is that maybe the priest was just wrote down the wrong name for the mother. Well, yeah. what's, what's the, most likely. Mom and dad at the time, mom and dad at the time is Exelda. Right. Exactly. It's his stepmother. Yeah. It's his stepmother. Yeah. yeah. And and wow. actually, if you think about it, if he was born in the spring, like he, if four months old in August, that mm -hmm. means he was born in, in July. April or end of March. Maybe her death was related to his birth. Yeah. Likely. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. they probably this happened the same time, right? And that's why he needed to marry Exelda yeah. right away. Yeah. Because he, he needed had... somebody to take care of those kids. That's yeah, right. well, two young girls and yeah. baby. And then an infant, yeah. yeah. And mm. then the infant dies, and then the second daughter dies. Now, on the second daughter's certificate um, record, which I have here. Do we have the mom's? We record? have the right mom. It says Joseph Fortier, and where, where are we here? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's up here. here. Joseph Fortier, cultivateur again. Um, et le défunt, Carmelie. Mm -hmm. Carmeline Poirier. Yeah. But do we have the mom's death record or death? No. I do. I, do. I, oh, have, the vital. Have... I have the vital one. For but her. the church record. No, I just have no. the. Because her church that... record and the baby's baptismal record would be about the same page. They'd have to be about the same date. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, the baby was born in. Okay. So this one was born on Nea Saint Boniface. The Alberts. It doesn't say where he was born. It said he had a fever for the last eight days. Fievre huit jours. So he had a fever for eight days. The the sister who died two weeks later, she had an intestinal um, inflammation of the intestines. Uh, so it could be the same disease. Like they could have had both had the same flu or something. Likely. Right? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but I think all the, the I think the records we need are in San Boniface, which is why I was hoping that there was an yeah. extra copy of them somewhere in the world. There should said, be. Well, if the church if the church had burned down now in Quebec, they had a rule that they kept them yeah. in the parish, but they also had to send an extra copy off to the diocese. But this is yeah. but this is French Canadian, so that goes by the same rules, I believe. But it's in Manitoba. <laughs> Yeah, but the Ontario, like even the um, Southern Ontario, Southwestern Ontario, they had, they were still. Are like, there copies in the diocese office in Ontario too? I believe so. so mm. where's and the it's diocese? like the Windsor Church, you find it under the Detroit diocese. Oh, right. For the they French Canadians. <laughs> right. So you have to have access to the U.S. records to, to see it. Huh. But I'm like St. Boniface was the primary church. That's probably where the diocese office was. 
and if the diocese office was in the church basement when it burned no but it right i don't know winnipeg is the would be the headquarters i mean it's right. the only big city and in... yeah 18 8, 1891 yeah shouldn't there be a birth record for him somewhere or is that too early for manitoba it'd be in the vital stats oh right a second you're right yes i've never one. found one for uh the sun so you knew about the sun though right or no did you? i did not i just knew so this about is news to you girls. you've got another uncle I or you briefly had another uncle actually, <laughs> great <laughs> um actually i'd heard about him but i had not connected i had not okay. researched that's so all i've just seen do you think i have enough do we have enough evidence that i can attach say so, right i made his i created his profile wait a second i didn't want to go there <laughs> created his profile i didn't attach the mother i haven't added actually exilda's but uh what you're saying confirms that the exilda who i think it is is the actual one so i will create a profile for her stepmom yeah. and i was going to put her in there because of the record the death record but i think but you it, should be able to find it on vital statistics his birth record yeah, let me just do that. If you can find her death record, you should be able to find his birth record. That's uh, an excellent point. Let's do that. Let's okay. see. Uh, so if I just go Joseph Fortier, I won't, I'll leave it all the other names. <laughs> Wrong birth. No, but you birth. left 1884 yeah. in there. Yeah. Get rid oh, of it. Oh, it was 91. Right. Yeah. And Thank he might have been. An... There it is. Joseph Pierre Albert. We've got a birth date of the 31st 24th of march and 24th of march so a week and, before. She, and the mother died on the 31st yes. of march it yeah. has to be well, okay. it's got to be related to pregnancy okay. to Where's, the birth oh and there's mom carmeline what? Fourier. yeah look at that Woo <laughs> there you go okay. <laughs> okay well that's great well we've solved that mystery so we mom go. died about seven days later. Yeah. Okay. Probably from childbirth. Yeah. yeah. It have to be, right? Yeah. yeah. So let me find Carmeline. Grab her ID. Boom. Go down to go back to Bing. Bing. Add mother. Connect. Paste. Proceed to connect mother. Yes, of course. Oh! <laughs> he <laughs> he <laughs> he oh to come join is... us. <laughs> Christian, come on down. He's probably made all these same connections and is doing exactly what we're going to do right now. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. So that was the mystery that I've been working on. Wonderful. Thank you. I've been working on the Bigelow's. Oh, wait, a second, no. wait a second. Did I put, did I connect? Am I connected at the wrong place? No, I don't think so. No, you were fine. I think you're Next. fine. The Bigelow's that go back to Massachusetts in the 1600s. Um, I, my great uncle married a Bigelow in the, um, the same area in Quebec. Um, my great uncle was English. Um, but that's how I know, remembered the name because my my great uncle's wife. And uh, so it's more distant than the CC7, but um, I was working in there. And then I was also working on the McLean's. McLean's, Mac yes. McLean's. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm actually a Mac one. So the McLean's, it was like, oh, it's not the same family, but. Um, and. Uh, Oh, they're back yeah. in Scotland. Um, some of the information you had is incorrect, though, that you had put in for like um, uh, Catherine, <laughs> Catherine Cameron. She wasn't born in Nova Scotia. She was born in Scotland, as far as we can tell, because they married in Scotland and had a few kids and then came over and had a few, possibly had a few more kids. So um, what I did just before when... I was asked to do this is like I need to add all these families and so instead of doing it from 
my JETCOM and getting that. I did it from Family Search, so I'm not surprised. There's yes. Yeah. <laughs> my original probably has it right, but <laughs> um, there's there's just uh, in 1861 in Ontario, I'm finding two different Catherine and Donald McLean. Oh, wow, yeah. With, with different kids. And I know one of the kids is in Gore with Donald and Catherine, but possibly Janet is in Victoria. So I'm not sure. It's like, did they get anywhere in twice? But there's different kids on them. And also the birth dates were way off because uh, Donald couldn't have been born in 1830 because he had a son in 1835. <laughs> he was actually born in 1816 good <laughs> so that was a bit confusing going okay janet was born in 1840 something 44 or 42 but you've got hit the father's birth in 1830 and the mother's birth in 1830 and it's like i don't think and then i found a then i found a son born in 18 thought it was 1840 and it turns out it's 1835 and it's like nope no. that's definitely wrong so Thank you for fixing um, this. It's just, it's just funny. So I don't have access to Scotland's people, so but um, someone else, Anne Browning, does. So she's been looking up some records. So because we found Donald's parents and Catherine's parents, I'm just yeah. needing the record to mm -hmm. confirm Donald's parents. Like yeah. I don't have a birth date or a death. I know their names, and so I put created Donald's father, Alexander. And it makes sense because the first son was Alexander. And it's all in the same area of Tyree, Argyle, I think it's Tyree. Argyle, Scott, yeah, like in the Tyree country. area. Yeah. And that's where my McKellars are from as well, is yeah. in Argyleshire. So, but the, like this, this entire thing is, they're all in Tyree area with, um, so it makes sense that they're still from there that like we found the parents from there and I found three siblings for Donald two or three siblings from Donald um, thank you the, going back so still working on that trying to find a marriage record for Alexander and Anne Mc, I can't remember her name McFerrin or something <laughs> and oh, something and, that. <laughs> but going back to the Bigelows that's hard because they're when they were in Quebec they're not Catholic so the English records not finding you know birth records for them or that so it's hard to tie the family together other than that Bigelow book so the Bigelow book but is that I mean people are well, church. kind of have to rely on that because they're what year is it record Pardon? Is there's Church of Scotland well, on Scotland's people, you can look at uh, no, nope. yeah, Church but the Scotland. big old, I'm back in Quebec. Oh, from, you're back in Quebec okay. from the states up into Quebec, and okay. there's a lot of it. And also, Bigelow's married their cousin, their first cousins often, <laughs> they kept marrying their first cousins. Um, I've seen at least four different cases of it in the same generation, huh. so they just keep marrying their cousins, a lot of them. So it's like Bigelow married to Bigelow and it's like, okay, am I sure she's, yep, her, go back and look, yep, her parents are actually Bigelow's. So Bigelow yeah. married Bigelow. Yeah, Anne's been a lot of help. Pardon? Anne's been a lot of help. Yeah, Anne was helping on the Mac McLean's. Um, but the Bigelow's, it's like, okay, found a Bigelow that's on there. Lou um and he's married to a bigelow oh her parents her parents aren't on there but then you find out that her parents are another child of cornelius so cornelius grandchild mm. married cornelius grandchild and it's just that all of cornelius's kids and their kids are not on there but it's like connections in that cornelius's grandchildren kept marrying each other so not always but quite a bit it's like you'd think they were French Canadians with the way they kept marrying their cousins. <laughs> well, they did go to Quebec, so maybe. You know? I mean, this is <laughs> in, yeah. they're in Quebec. You can find, but the yeah. but the 
non-Catholic records don't mention the parents' names in the marriages, in the marriage records. They just say, you know, um, John Bigelow married Mary Bigelow. They don't on this, like, I solemnize this marriage on this date between these two people who were residents of Chatham, which I believe uh, changed name, but. Um, um, it did. I'm doing a one name study on that because it's Ogdensburg and Chatham and they're all, it's just north of the, the river and it's where the um, Irish people landed as well. And there's all in this area. So it's yeah. Brownsburg, it's Chatham, Brownsburg, Quebec. Did Chatham change its name? Because I saw yeah. one reference. Yeah, to Chatham, Brownsburg, Chatham. You'll see it. It's all, if you go to their site. They... But did it change its name to Grenville or, or is Grenville beside it? It's beside it. Okay, because because I have country. ancestors like that. My great uncle is a Welburn and they're in the Grenville, Quebec area. Namer and then Granville. So that's um, so that's where I knew my relatives were from. So, you know, that's interesting because I've always, my Irish family, O'Dowds, came to Quebec. They're not mm. Roman Catholic. They're not French. Mm. <laughs> and they pick Quebec. Well, my, <laughs> my Welburns, <laughs> came just... from Yorkshire, England, went to um, New York State for a little bit, had a couple of kids here, and then came up to Grand to Namur, Quebec, which is right in the same area. It's by Grenville and it's Chatham. and so my grandmother was born in Namur, Quebec. She's English Protestant Quebec mm -hmm. and she married my grandfather Ozia Sauve, who was French Catholic mm -hmm. from Ontario. Wow, from Ontario. <laughs> yes, he was. He was from the Ontario side of the river, um, right. near Hawkesbury. Right. Right near Hawkesbury. So okay. it was like okay. And then my my paternal grandparents are the same. How do these thing, people the, meet? The the Protestant area. Like what social the circles did the church? <laughs> the English the English Catholics from Ontario meet the <laughs> or no French, the French Catholics English from Ontario Protestants meet the from English Ontario Protestants from and the Quebec. French Catholics from Quebec meeting visiting and then, was it an odd man odd man's out party where everyone <laughs> i don't know but my for my grandfather my grandmother was his third wife and she, he had kids older than my grandmother and never told her till after she, they were married oh wow so my grandfather would have been 101 if he had 100 101 no 91 if he had lived till i was born so wow. my mother was from the third family and the third mm -hmm. youngest child. Uh -huh. So the kids range from the 18, eight, born in the 1880s, I think it is, to the 1940s. Wow. And wow. it's 18 children <laughs> over three wives. So and that's one interesting one. because that explains a little bit as to why <clears throat> my non-Catholic went to that area because it must have been known or you know here's mm -hmm. people who are not catholic <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, namer actually had an uh protestant or anglican church i know um huh. so yeah but um and about your other uh son gray that yeah. one couldn't figure it out my grandfather's second wife actually died about a week after marriage in child just after childbirth just after childbirth. No, no it was a couple marriage. of years. It, it was a couple of years after the first wife had died. But mm -hmm. yeah, she died a few mm -hmm. days after after marriage in childbirth. Mm -hmm. And it was his child. So mm -hmm. even these Catholics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, yeah. So uh, so the Bigelows are a bit confusing because they keep marrying each other and the records aren't totally clear mm -hmm. on to finding a source it's like you know this person is a child of them but you can't find a record that proves it's that ch their child and it's too early a lot of them are too early for um census records mm -hmm. yeah. they're born in the 1820s or that so by the 1850s they're already married and have their own families and mm -hmm. cornelius comes up lots so yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but you also see, you also can see because um, there'll be like Cornelius grandchildren or great grandchildren, and it's like, okay, you, it's, it sort of confirms the ties back to like how, how many people would name their son Cornelius mm-hmm. if not related to them? And just the names repeating a lot. When so I, I've been having fun with the Bigelows and McLean. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm I'm really excited about the Scottish Argyleshire yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I've been working in Selkirkshire and Lanarkshire for the Doby Sanderson. Cool. On that, there were some um, that was already on WikiTree too that we were able to connect into, so that was cool. That Some is of the kids cool. from that, yeah. Oh, another witch trier kind of line up there. I know my mom was when she worked on this line. That line was, she worked on her line. I worked on the French Canadian line, <laughs> so she was stumped right there. I know she didn't get. Yeah, you had the easier task. Yeah, Anne's been doing so much uh, for us on. Because uh, I, you know, we pull up Scotland's people and you can see there's a record there, but she could actually go in and look at the actual record. So she's been doing that for us. That's been wonderful. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Coming along. <laughs> so exciting. So amazing. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I guess we should let everybody head back out Mm -hmm. add some more we're hoping to get you your 1k connections badge pretty soon hopefully yeah for me yeah okay uh, as soon as you hit you know a thousand connections you're i think you're at 846 or something when i last checked 844 didn't she start at a really low number yeah i think she was at 160 yeah. Is it 160 or something like because that? Because I yeah. didn't add in all the seven. Oh, one, yeah, right. she just did the, yeah. So it was like 123, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Nice, nice yeah. number to start nice with. Number, one, two, three. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I would like that one. <laughs> they said, we're going to do this. And I thought, well, I need to put my direct line on there yes, so because I know it. Yeah. yeah, somewhere to and, start. Because I didn't want people to spend time on things I already knew. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I, but I didn't have time to add all the siblings. So this is this is cool. Oh yeah. yeah. All Where those collateral lines. And that will help other people. Exactly. Yeah. Get us bring us closer together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Nice. <laughs> if you can you. find that marriage certificate to see if there's more information than just what's on the website, that would be great. Yeah, I don't think so, but I will. Okay. You'll you'll find it. I don't think there's any more information. And any photographs you have, too. Yeah, I'm finding for... some photographs on Ancestry, but I can't copy them over, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good point. All right. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. And we will see mm-hmm. you around the tree and then see you for the wrap-up at uh, noon on the 25th. Noon on the 25th. Okay. When? Okay. That's Wednesday? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Thank you. Yeah, and the link for the chat, um, for the wrap-up chat is on the space page and the G2G post in a Discord. Oh, we got it out there everywhere, so. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Bye.